We need to come up with a strategy for fighting and dealing with these two before we run out of time. Do we stake out the complex or, or stick to searching? Mm hmm. That was a good question, and I'm just trying to think which one we picked. Uh, which one to pick? And yeah, I, I was going to stick to searching. What do you think, Miss? Uh, yeah, do that. I guess. Right. I don't really. I'm not really up to the story, mm -hmm. so we'll see. We may as well search for them. If they are at home, we'll only see them when they leave. In which case, we'll potentially run into them out on the street anyway. At the at the least, this way we'll, st we'll stay awake. And it, and it will surely be far less suspicious than two teenagers pacing in front of a building all day instead of going to school. It's totally not suspicious. suspicious. Come on, what, what are you talking, talking about? about? Shut up, you! Go back in my- stay in my head! Nope. Misa and I continue to walk around the infamous district. In looking for it for our future victims while getting, a f while getting a feel for the empty streets around us If it weren't for the crime rate, this would be a nice place to live. Yes Damn the crime rate damn those bastards. It's bad. It's fairly populated There are plenty of small businesses, and it's unbelievably unbelievably quiet around here I can see why Simon and Martin have taken a liking to this place those bastards as Misa and I move forward, move further and further away from the apartment complex, we steadily encountered more people. Rather than crossing a, coming across adult terror, we found ourselves face to face with young children, likely in their early teens. Oh, we found the we, we found the quote unquote hard people, the ones that try to act hard. Eh, fuck it. Moving on. What is it? Did you find them? Hmm. 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 Misa point towards the school from which the from which children were intermittently arriving and leaving. It's a school, so what? Hmm. I somewhat doubt somewhat I somehow doubt we're gonna fight Simon and Mon at ten in school, especially at middle school. They might deal drugs outside of school, sure, but if Misa's point at the school itself, that can only mean you wanna go inside, don't you? Hmm. Then you ought to look, because that's the one that's the one place I'm not gonna take you, especially not in the middle of the middle of assignment. Hmm. Means I hate to break it to you, but there's nothing interesting about going to the school. It isn't fun, and there's nothing worthwhile waiting for us there. Hmm. Right, ready now? What is Misa fascinated with the school? Hmm. Could it be that they could be possibly on the premise, maybe as teachers? I don't know. <laughs> I was hoping so I was hoping someone would give me an answer for that. But no, might be the, no one gave me anything. Might, it might be the target are the teachers. Yeah. Oh I Hypothetically speaking, if we did, if you did go to school, what would you want to do? Ah! I, I know what I would do if I went to school. I'd stab that one bully in the eye with a pencil. Then one by one, I'd chase his friends down and throw their bodies off the top of the school. But that's oh. beside the point. I'm sorry. Continue, please. Uh, um... Don't uh, kill him. He, he's my split personality. He's the guy I told you about before. Okay. I'm his coach. I'm just gonna stand over here now. <laughs> and immediate and immediately began to tapping away. Tap 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 tap. Ding -ding. Level up. <laughs> Yo, on a roll. Keep it up. So oh, you you're playing school? Candy Crush? Come on, like, <laughs> let me play. No, we're not playing that shitty game. Ah, spoiled sport. I was I was expecting you to go. That's blasphemy. <laughs> I was expecting you to do that. So you want to go to school? To play games. That's kind of ironic, because that's what I did mostly in high school. Hmm. Well, if they did let you play video games all day, school might actually be worth attending. But as things stand, Misa, I don't know what kind of TV shows you've been watching, but there's no way you'd be allowed to put to be allowed to just play games all day. That would be known as heaven. Hmm. Even if you let, even if they let you play games when you were a kid, middle school, middle school and high school aren't like that. You don't get to play games, you can sit at a desk and listen to a teacher babble on about nothing. You don't, don't have to listen to the teacher babble if you just stab him in the eye and kill him. No! And go then... away! No! Yeah. Don't. <laughs> hey! Uh, no! No! Don't, hey, don't listen to the... No, don't listen to the crazy lady. <laughs> How am I the crazy one? That doesn't make sense. I'm You're pragmatic. the one to stab people in the eye. I'm Wait a pragmatic, minute, I'm just... okay? Wait a minute, I've just realized something. What? What? How was she able to hear you? Uh... Ha! 
I think we. Oh I my think god! We, I, think I think she's, she's going, going crazy. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Does she have a split personality too? But I never said I wasn't, so it's like yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Sorry okay. to break. Sorry to break it to you, but your life is far more interesting than a high than a high school student's. But you know, if you like playing ga video games, I'm sure we can get a rank something once we get once we get my old home back. I have plenty of two-player games as well, and Sarah isn't really into video games, so. Mm -hmm. Lisa nodded enthusiastically, enthralled by the notion of visiting my old home and playing together. As as amusing as Misa's enthusiasm can be, I'm honestly pretty excited myself. It's no fun playing with someone who doesn't like vi video games, so competing against Sarah was was nothing special. Special, and I was never close enough to close enough to anybody at school to invite them over to my house. It'd be nice to have an opponent who actually puts an effort and cares about the outcome. Hmm. Aha! Now I just want to end end this and visit an arcade. Come on, Simon and Martin, show yourselves already. Come on, you bastards! Let me play Street Fighter Four or Two, particularly Two. Better. Dude, we could play Street Fighter with knives by p killing these guys. Don't. That's not how Street Fighter works! <laughs> it's for me. <laughs> of course it would be. Misa and I walked around outside the school for a while, giving Misa her fix without actually going inside. We stuck around as students, teachers, and parents all came, came and went, forcing us to move further and further away in order to retain a low profile. As we did so, however, our reason for being there suddenly resurfaced. Simon pi pimped it. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Ah. We've got a pedo! One, one of our two remaining right. targets. Given this record, it's not surprising to be hanging out near schools and peddling drugs. Lucky us. Of course, there'd be nothing. Yeah, no comment. <laughs> Damn, we're too far away to hear them. We could get closer, but even if Misa and I were right, were of the right age, neither one of us are in uniform, so we'll definitely stick out. Not that it matters, the exact exchange between those two is un is unrelevant. After all, he's... He had to do more than just talk. Oh no, he drugged her! In the middle of the conversation, Simon quickly jabbed an ear into her neck, neck of the girl with, with whom he was speaking with. But, Miss? I... You know, whoever wants to... But, I, I can't... I have to go to school. Shh, don't worry about it. We'll be back with plenty of time to spare. My friends are waiting for me. You'll be back before you know it. They won't even notice that you're gone. Really? But why do I feel so... That, that's a good girl. Don't worry, I'll wake you up once we arrive. Simon walked along with the young girl resting on his shoulders, placing his arms around her and trying his best to make to make her appear to be walking on her own. To the uninformed, distant, dis distant observer, they might appear to be just a couple of couple of kids skipping school together, holding each other close as they walk along. Up close, however, the truth was obvious. That girl who who who, who took the girl who he took was was barely conscious, and her eyes struggled to open. Misa and I crossed the road and followed direct, directly behind Simon and his prey, tailing him quietly for another two blocks until he finally showed signs of stopping. We stopped a couple of houses away and walked as Simon entered the battered old house, as empty and lifeless as those surrounding it. Now I understand why Simon and Martin chose this district. With, with, with so few people around and no police present, the crime rate must be, astou must be astonishing, and they, can, and they can no doubt do whatever the, they please without worrying about getting caught. Those fucking creepy fucks! They're you trying to definitely waste them. Well, like I think that was a given me, mm. and, yeah, and that fact even is about more so. to, is about to is about to become my advantage. Oh no, no! no. I don't no. want to see. I don't want to see underage boob. <laughs> in, in pursuit of Simon, Miso and I went went as, went around the around the side of the house, giving us a front 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 row seat to witness this next stage of Simon's abduction. Upon peering into the house through the back window, it only took a moment to figure out what Simon had planned. Yeah. Barely conscious and struggling to move, the girl he had abducted had been laid out on, on, a, on a mattress in the middle of, middle of an unwise empty room. Otherwise empty room. Her clothes were dis disheaved. She, she couldn't raise her voice in protest, and not, not a single pass passerby would know she was there. Wakey, wakey. It's almost time to play. <sighs> Simon walked over to the girl's side and moving it moving his hood and smirked to himself as as he anticipated what he would what would come next. Don't talk. 
Just sit back and let me take you to heaven. Funny, I was thinking of sending you to somewhere a little, a little different. Yeah. What, uh, who, who's there? As Simon approached the girl, Misa and I had crept inside. I grabbed Simon by the head and immediately pressed my blade, up, blade to his throat, so he'd know better than to resist. Don't move. H who are you? What do you think you're- <laughs> What part of don't move do you not understand? Listen, man, I don't know what I don't know what you want, but I, I can get it for you. Money, girls, blow, you name it, anything you want. Oh, anything I want, huh? Yeah, that's right. You want it? I've got it. What's your poison, friend? Well, now isn't that nice? It seems I've bagged myself a mod a modern day genie. But there's only one thing I want from the scumbag. Martin Valentine. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something cool like I wish you were dead. <laughs> Maybe I will say that though. <laughs> what was Get that? Up, dude. The moment I stated my worst, Simon became far less comedian. Playing dumb, huh? Not a smart tactic when you have a when you have a knife to your throat. You said you'd get me anything I want. I want Martin Valentin. Martin Valentin? Never heard of him. What an awful lie. <laughs> and in the face of a defiant target, Misa stepped in at last. For behind, uh, Misa, she I think you just fucking stabbed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we well the game is over now. We're dead now. <laughs> well, we're dead too. I have a, I have like a really I have like Sue's got like the best poker face ever. He's like and his hair is going shit shit shit. But like he's just like just saying nothing. Yeah. But, but, well, well done, Misa. Misa, we need to go to the hospital now. <laughs> <laughs> Not for my stomach. <laughs> From behind, she pierced Simon's body with with her blade, easily cutting through bone and muscle with it until the red steel poked through the other side. But Simon didn't scream. Rather than display pain, he merely cried in disbelief. Oh God! Oh God! This can't be happening. The genuine shock in Simon's face told me that he had neither neither seen nor heard Misa until until it was far too late. Sorry about that, Simon. It seems my partner is getting impatient. We want a deadline, you see, and we just hate to be late. Simon's expression didn't change. He merely continued to repeat his prayers and under his breath. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! He won't help you, Simon. Sinners Not don't go to God. Even. Not even oh. once. There's no hope for you. No if hope you at all. If you want to get out of this with the rest of your limbs still attacks, tell us where to find Martin. No, no I, I get it. I, I know why you're here. You're after her, aren't you? Huh? Well, strictly speaking, our job is to kill Martin and Simon. Nonetheless, a certain DA's daughter was mentioned in our assignment. Look, I'll tell you where she is, okay? You, you aren't too late. The, au the auction is still at 3 p.m. An auction, huh? Neither, apparently neither party wasted any time negotiating this kidnapping. The kidnappers tur turned the ransom into an auction. The girl's father commissioned the, ki the, ki the kidnapper's death. With each side playing in their hand, the kidnappers flee to a to a nigh deserted district, hoping to evade detection until they offload offload their cargo. This is all coming together. Just just let me go. I'll take you to her. I swear. You want it back alive, right? It, it, it's your job, isn't it? Simon continued to plead, hoping to strike a minute bar a, a last minute bargain. Unfortunately for Simon, he completely mistook the reason mistook the reason for for my presence. My job. Still make me laugh. Do I look like a cop to you? I want Martin. And if you can't tell me where he is, then I'm gonna have to start removing your moving the flesh from your bones one limb at a time. <laughs> oh, 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 wait! I, I get it! I'll, I'll talk, right, I'll talk, okay? I, like it. I don't know where Martin is right now, but I do know where he will be. The auction? Th that's right, at 3 p.m. He'll be hosting the auction. About 20 minutes away from here by foot. There was an abandoned church. Go there and you'll be find them both! See, so Ma so Martin isn't the kidnapper, but he's but also the auctioneer. I have a thought I had a thought a man with a target on his back would be a little more careful about showing himself, but I guess he's just as careless as his partner here. So what happens now? I told you anything, just like you wanted. Are you gonna arrest me? I told you, we aren't the police. We we weren't hired to arrest you. We're here to kill you. <laughs> That's my seal, keep that up. Oh god damn it, we're in a fucking church too! This just seems way more ironic. 
After Misa slightly opened to, uh, Simon's torso within, from within, spilling out his guts on the floor in front of us, we headed back and began searching for the location of the auction. Although we didn't get an address or even a direction, the time estimate was, was, was enough for Misa and I to eventually locate the church in question. Once we have found and entered the church, Misa and I waited until 3 p.m. in which a few of our people began to show up. All middle-aged men, most of them wearing suits, they headed straight past us towards the back of the church, through a partially hidden door. A dozen or more so men entered before Misa, Misa made her move. She headed to the opposite side of the, of the church, climbing up a staircase leading to the rafters above. Mm. From above, Misa pointed at me, then to the room the middle-aged men had entered. No need to tell me. That was the plan from the beginning. Welcome, one and welcome, one and all, to this week's in, 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 insta, in, wait, install, installment. installment of Who's Under That Curtain? Really? I a, yeah, I see a lot of familiar faces in the auction tonight, as well as a couple I don't recognize. But no matter how well we know each other, you're all in it, you're all in for a treat. By the time I entered the room, Martin had already began to address myself, address myself and the other members of the crowd. Despite the nature of his auction, he showed no sign of, of being at, at all worried. L likely thanks to his past experiences. As I'm sure you all know, we have a very special guest with us this week. Please welcome to the stage... Miss Cr Miss C Cassandra Bell! Clap! Oh, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Martin removed the blanket from from un, for, from an, from over an armchair a few meters in front of the crowd, unveiling the prize he had been hiding underneath. Sitting underneath the chair was a sleeping girl, no doubt drugged with whatever si whatever Simon had been using, although with an unquestionable high dose. Rich, you want to do this one? Ah, can... oh, it is really her. I thought this was a hoax, but he really does have her. The crowd seems to grow grow restless the moment the girl's face was unve unveiled. Did these guys know this know this girl? I can understand them knowing her father, p particularly if these men are criminal criminals themselves. But what connection do they have with her? Now that you've all been introduced, can I have I have some news for all of you. It seems Miss Bell is looking for a new home, and being and being the honest, hardworking person that I am, I'm here to make sure she gets what she wants. However, we can't have Miss Bell going home with, with just anybody. I need you all to prove to me that you really want to take her home. What is she, a puppy? <laughs> well, with that in mind, let's start the bidding at 1000 shall we? $1,000 in the starting price? Oh man, these guys must be loaded. I could possibly outbid them no nowadays, given how well, I, how well I get paid, but... 1000 What? <laughs> 9000 uh, on second thought, maybe I couldn't win this auction. I understand that holding home the DA's daughter hostage is a, is a good leverage, but $9,000? I compare that lawyer would be cheaper, if only slightly. My oh my, we have some generous bidders in the audience tonight. What do you say, Miss Bell? Is 9000 the magic number? I can't hear you because we've also, we've also gagged your mouth. And drugged her, you know. So it's... Oops, tough, tough look, partner. It seems Miss Bell has been brought up on the high life, and will be will need a little more than that. But the game isn't over yet, so show you show the love and splash some cash before this it before this once in a lifetime opportunity passes you by. Fifteen thousand. I was oh, gonna say that Miss do it. Just a girl Sorry. bidding on a girl, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> girl power. Add that line if you want to do it. We could, we could, we could truly like I'll just say it. Oh, okay, fifteen thousand. What the Perhaps. hell? <laughs> <laughs> There's a woman fuck here. You. Fuck you! I know this. Is hey, fuck you! I want. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want her first. No, I want her. Who the hell are you? I'm the guy point. from I'm the guy from the YMCA. Oh, <laughs> you're that guy, huh? <laughs> Perhaps prompted by Martin's lunacy, one final bidder cried out, leaving the others to mu to murmur between themselves as they can come play going higher. The girl might win this, <laughs> but at fifty thousand dollars, the auction had already gone beyond most of their expectations as well as their wallets. Fifteen thousand dollars. Did you hear that, Cassie? That's why you can't speak. 
<laughs> I'm glad you agree. Unless there are any fellow bidders, I think we have a winner. 15,000, go in once, go in twice. Holy, Holy shit! shit. <laughs> what? Uh, wait, what? I think she cut him in half. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Damn, Misa. <laughs> Misa's badass! Damn! As the auction friend threatened to end, Misa at last descended from the church rafters, delivering judgment like a guardian angel. She flo she gently flew to the floor, clutching her blade in both hands and, cl and cloaked in a nun's habit, and hid her, her face concealed. Oh! She is wearing a nun outfit! What's wrong, folks? Why is everyone... Mona began began to turn around, spluttered on the spurred on by by the stairs of his eyes. Oh, I was completely unaware of what happened. The left and right side of his body separate, coated in the floor beneath with a mass of with a mass of intestines. Shock and disbelief t quickly turned into panic as the bidders realized what had happened. The auctioneers literally fell to pieces, leaving the obvious question on their minds: Would they be next? Do they still get that purchase? I think I think the lady. I, I want think the my lady... girl. Shut up! I'm <laughs> getting my girl. No, she's mine. No, she's mine. Bid fifteen thousand, and I'm gonna get her. No, nah, she. No, nah, she's mine. Who the hell are you? I'm Fla I'm Flaws L. Williams. She's mine. <laughs> no, get all the way. He, starts, he, just, he just starts pimp slapping everyone all the way. Get all the way. She's my hoe now. <laughs> <laughs> get all the way, hoe. I demand you leave her alone. She is. Get, get, get ah! out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, nigga. As, as, as the last of the bidders rushed out of the room, I walked over to Misa, who had wiped the blade, the blood off her blade, and onto the robes she had cloaked herself with. Then stepped over to Martin's corpse and inspected the prize out of the of the orchard before turning to Misa, wondering exactly what we should what we should be doing. And that little all Indian I said girl to her was that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the little Indian girl was still partially conscious, and nobody would nobody would think to enter an abandoned house decorated with disembodied corpses. So it ought to be safe. But what about Cassandra? Those men all, all know where she is, and with the auctioneer now deceased, the girl herself is still unconscious, and anyone could have ducked her. <sighs> Screw it. It may not be the job, but the least I can do is phone an anonymous tip to the police. I wonder if there are any payphones around. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't technically use our phone. That's right. Ah, back so soon, Sai. You only left ten minutes ago. I left five hours ago. Have you really? been drinking? No, it, no. no. I don't know what you're talking about. You, are. Are you? You know what, Sai? We we need another. We need a daughter. We need a, a daughter. We are not having this conversation. C Continue. Come on! You know it'd be great no! for me, for me, sir. Let's have another kid. No! Oh, you spoil sport. But that's beside the point. I am here because I have news. Oh, and um, pray tell what that would be. What else? The girl has been success uh, recovered successfully. And Senator Bell would like to thank you personally. He would? You're kidding. Of course I'm kidding. He didn't even send his thanks. Well, that son of a bitch. Well then, I guess we have to pay someone to nuke his house then. <laughs> so, take this nuke over to the house. <laughs> How do I however, use a nuke? However... Wait, he... The ship was that? <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Uh, hello, right, sorry, well. still here? Uh, sorry, okay. I, I must have disconnected. Let me say that again. Yeah, please. Right. However, he did promise to keep up his end of your agreement. You can now have his daughter. Hmm. Time to sell her into prostitution. I heard this guy named Flozo Williams has had, has had his eye on her. Yes, indeed. <laughs> even pink, even pimp slapped me before. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't cool. <laughs> My payment is a promise from a politician. What a joke. Well, you did organize for his daughter to be kidnapped. Okay. Oh, God, God damn it. It's starting to make more sense now. So he made his daughter get kidnapped so that way he can pay them to make get more. No, okay. 
No wonder he wanted the freaking people he hired dead, so he wouldn't pay them. What a what a clever bastard. And if, even if he doesn't know that, I wouldn't push your luck. <sighs> I suppose you're right, but it couldn't be helped. We needed a favor to make Adam more accessible, and he was the right man for the job. His assistance will make things easier, yes. Then, uh, that will have to do then. On the bright side, that also means Msu and Miso are finished with their work for the week, doesn't it? That's right, and with the last of their work done, they can finally begin training for Ada. Next week, that is. A few hours isn't enough notice for me to set up the course. That's fine. I'm just glad that, that, that you're finally that, that you're finally starting. We can't have those kids go into Ada without proper training, right? Hmm. Sorry. That was the part where you're supposed to say, My, my, Misa doesn't need training, or... Relax, we're going, we've got Ada in the bag. About that. That was a terrible impression of me. Yes. Hmm? What's wrong? Over the past few days, the number of attacks on our servers has increased dramatically. They found out that we have porn. They want our porn. What do we do? <laughs> not, the, not the porn. <laughs> they found out. They know they we have. A, know about, they, they, they know we have celebrity know, porn. They mustn't know about the time when I was the naughty samurai. <laughs> I was very naughty. Apparently. Furthermore, our citywide mesh network has been flooded, slowing down communications considerably. In other words, someone's trying to hinder us. Or find out what we know. In either case, I haven't heard from Kane or Leon yet, and the GPS coordinates have been erratic. You think one of them was behind this? It's possible, but I'm working under the impression that they disappeared in the same manner as Violet and Vincent, and others before them. Ah, so we're back to that again, huh? Someone is curling off your team, and we still don't know who it is. This all started when we began investigating Ada. I think it's safe to say who is behind it. Knowing that, do you still plan to continue? <sighs> How confident are you that Misa, Sue, and yourself will be able to pull this off? Even without Senator Bell's help, our success is 100% certain. Hmm, I see. Then we shall continue as long as the three of you remain. You, of you remain, we have our team. Starting next week, you will be. You will all dedicate your time to training for this operation. I will accept no further work on your behalf. Understood. I will work Suo and Misa and Delay prepared for any situation, no matter how dire. Well, you're better. Otherwise, you're fired. Oh. Or dead. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes, that, yes, that, yes, that too. That's fine. I can go back to being naughty samurai. So you're gonna go back into porn, are you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Friday morning, November 18th. From the moment I woke this morning, I felt unlike any other morning this week. Both relaxed and content. I woke up without the stress and anxiety that had plagued me since my work from the for the week began. I woke up without any reasons to fret or to think that I might not accomplish what I had set out to do. Because this morning, for the first time this week, I have no excitements. As, mu as much as I, I enjoy my work, I enjoy my job, this week has been full on. Five assignments in five days might sound logical might sound logical enough, but once you factor in the travel and the scouting time and killing, killing se and the kills themselves, there isn't a lot of free time remaining. Now that, my, now that my targets have been disposed of, however, I have a full day of relaxation ahead. Or at least I would. Uh, if I didn't have a promise to keep. <laughs>